What's worse than the Fettuccine Alfredo special at Denny's at 2 in the morning? Keith Murray and Chris Kane tell us on this episode of Worst Gig Ever. Peace. <laughs> Keith, Chris, welcome to the show. Thanks. I gotta say, you guys look beautiful today. Oh. Very kind. No problem. Right out the gate, just slap us across the face with a worst gig ever story. I don't know if mine is objectively a terrible gig, um, but it's a gig that will live in infamy for me. <laughs> um, it was in Hamburg. In uh, Germany? Yes. Europe. Europe. There you go. Okay. Keep going. Expand. I don't know any more yes, yes. context for that. Uh, in, the, in the midst of summer, so it was blazing hot, and we had just gotten really into what we were calling sea breezes, but I think that was uh, incorrectly oh, right. identified. Um, but it was vodka, orange juice, cranberry, cranberry juice, lots of ice. Lots of ice. Sounds like a lovely Re cocktail. Refreshing yeah. as hell. Sounds yeah. refreshing as hell. Almost as refreshing um, as this seltzer. Yeah, we were, we were new to them. I didn't really know how to temper myself on the, on the sea breezes. Um, we were also very enthusiastic about Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 2, mm -hmm. a, a <laughs> terrorist isn't? hunting. These are related yeah. details later. just come out of time. We'll all pay off in yeah. the end. Um, right. And so, because it was hot out, didn't want to go outside, stayed on the bus uh, for hours before the show, playing Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 2, slugging sea breezes. <laughs> Um, sort, of in, sea so, sort of incapable of telling how much time was passing or how much alcohol I was consuming. And also yeah. when you're playing um, Vegas 2, it's such a strange visual environment. It's, uh -huh. There's so much crazy action that I think you feel drunk no you're matter what. You're sucked into a vortex. There's a yes, vortex. So you, don't, right. you wouldn't necessarily register involved. inebriation. Yeah. Drunk feelings are hitting you from all sides. Mm -hmm. yeah. No drunk. context. No yes. context yeah. Yeah. for sobriety. It might not be the yes. drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, suffice it to say, <laughs> got wasted. I think I was alone as well. I think, I think everybody else. I'm sure we, we would like pop in on you. Check in on me. Yeah. How's yep. it going? The rest Keith? of them were trying to enjoy Europe you got a it. little bit. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, Stonehenge out the window. <laughs> yep. You could literally see Stonehenge out the window, but very, Tom Clancy. From very well. Very yeah, clearly. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's a trick of the light. Yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> um, Sort of at the last minute before the show, our tour manager gets on the bus and is like, what the hell are you doing? We're, everybody else is like standing next to the stage ready to go. And I'm like, no, I think I have a couple more minutes yeah. to do this. It's kind of like picks me up, brings me to the stage, pushes me out. <laughs> Did and he I literally pick you up? I think up? he sort of like helped me okay. a little bit. Did you save your game at least before? I think the game is lost, okay. unfortunately. Game was Ugh. Lost. Oh. All right. Um, Already a worse gig. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think I think the show was largely fine. Um, <laughs> my my perception of it may have been skewed. I don't know how well you remember the actual show. I I mean, you know, you've definitely been inebriated at a few shows, but I do feel like I know the show you're talking about. I feel like it was so sloppy and ridiculous. Well, okay, so then objectively, it may have been a bad <laughs> show. Uh, I do know that Adam, our drummer on that tour, mm. was very unhappy. Desperately <laughs> happy. Um, was he just unhappy in general with the tour, or with you? Yeah, and it's your not, sea not my addiction? place to say. Oh, okay. Uh, he was he was unhappy with with my condition. The sea breezes weren't helping anything. No, no, not at yeah. all. Um, and about halfway through the set, uh, a girl in the front row kept on asking for a song called Textbook, which was not on our set list. A deep cut. We, yeah, deep cut. Dusty we groove. We hadn't been practicing it, uh, but I was so confident. Uh, you know, I knew the show was just going so well, we could pretty much handle anything. Yeah. So I turned around, I was like, well, let's do the textbook. We got a new textbook. <laughs> We're all over this one. And, and Adam just looked at me and just stonily shook his head and looked down at whatever the next song was and called it out and counted <laughs> off and we started playing. I and I was in that. such a bad mood for the rest of the show. I could not have been angrier and more shamed. Um, that was a bad gig. That yeah. gig. That's a, I'm, so the band, I'm kind of sweating now band. thinking about sure. my shame. It's almost there was an intra-band conflict where the the propulsion, by that I mean the drummer, <laughs> was calling the shots. <laughs> the propulsion, it should be a propulsion something. Yes. The propulsion <laughs> engine. It's not just right. the propulsion. Right. right. So the propulsion just kind of <laughs> called the shots Absolutely. there and it was a, you know, a, essentially a tale of two cities there. The master became the puppet. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This one's going out to you, Metallica. 
did you <laughs> did that carry over onto the bus or did you, did it no I think I got down? on the bus had some sea breezes <laughs> some, 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 some Clancy <laughs> always, always get that rainbow going <laughs> yeah, and then we were exactly. flying again uh, so we're talking about worst gigs here but mm. before you were in the big leagues uh, you have any worst jobs ever just straightforward jobs I uh, I was a lifeguard in college which sounds you know on paper, like it would be pretty pleasant. But dream job. Yeah. yeah. Dream job, exactly. Hang sun, out all day ladies. in the sun. Yeah. Was there a college credit on it? Uh, there was, a, <laughs> there was <laughs> wasn't that kind of college, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I got, I got, you know, slave wages to do uh -huh. essentially nothing yeah. next to a pool um, a few hours a day. Uh, the bad part about it was that at that age, um, young men are very uh, hormonal. Mm -hmm. Arousable. Arousable. And so literally I just had to stand there and watch a parade of um, <laughs> swimsuit clad college ladies. Nubile. Tan mostly. All yeah. day. And it was very, uh, it was a very frustrating job. You were working a lot harder in a different way than you mm -hmm. thought you would be. <laughs> yeah. You were jumping in the pool just to cool off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thank God for that cold shower it's located <laughs> next to the ladder, because I needed it. Was that just one summer that you did that one? That was, that was my school year job <laughs> when I was in college. I did that for three years. He scrambled for the position every year. Yeah. Did you do the whole lifeguard training and everything? Yeah. Did you know like anything blow up? about You're certified. Lifeguard? I could, yeah. I, well, I'm not anymore. You, he you could save a guy. Renew. You have to renew really? Did you do but the whole take your jeans off and blow them up into a, a, a inflatable thing? No. That's what we had to learn how well, to do. Well, we had inflatable things. Like, <laughs> this was in case you're in the ocean. Wait, blow yes. up your if jeans. If they drop you off into the ocean. <laughs> what is the blow up your Seems jeans? Like a poorly you take your pool. jeans off and you tie up the leg and then make essentially almost like a balloon with the, with the waist. Uh, and so wow. you can make an improvised floaty. And and it'll float for about 30 seconds. Yeah, you get a good <laughs> strong way you before down. you die. This episode's going out to lifeguards. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the worst gig that you guys have ever seen? Um, and I, I went to University of Florida for two years. And uh, my roommate and I once went to a show at the Covered Dish. I don't know if that place is still there. I don't think I ever even heard of it. Um, Sounds delicious. I think, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we went to see the opening band, who I think was just a local Gainesville band, and the big headliner. Local draw. They BLD. didn't. Have, well, it turns out they didn't have a big local draw. <laughs> nor did the headliner, um, who we kind of stuck around just to you know check out a few songs of. I do remember we had a test in the morning. We, we both had the same class, and we had a test that, like... Blood work, or...? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but we figured we'd check out the headlining act, who I want to say was called Vervian. Have you ever heard of that? No. Yeah. no it, Sound it sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they were great. <laughs> <laughs> About three songs in, we decide we're going to leave. Uh -huh. um, and the, the crowd is sparse enough uh -huh. that the band, oh. like, sees us going <laughs> and literally just begins begging us just to give it a few more songs. Oh, just stick around oh. more. So we kind of, you the know, onstage we kind of consult while they wait on stage. Right. We agree we'll stay a few more songs. <laughs> uh, they keep playing. We're like, just, look, sorry guys, we really have to go. We've got this <laughs> test in the morning. Uh, I hope you understand. I'm like, just don't, just don't go. I think there were maybe seven people total. Mm. Um, and we and we had to just. Out of tell pity. Them, no, we had to just tell them we were sorry, and we laughed. Really? <laughs> Didn't even stick but around then, for I would have said mid-song leave. But, but then afterward, well, the, you know, it just seemed... It felt nicer to Yeah. It, yeah. It, there was the chance they would have stopped. <laughs> yeah. Hold it, hold it. We got, we're losing yes. them again. Uh, but after the show, as we, as we left, we went to the 7-Eleven next door, bought some candy, and left it on their van with, a, with an apologetic note. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. that's so sweet for Vervia. Yeah. You guys are great at writing songs, but do you have any worst talents in your back pocket? Or front pocket. Either or. All the other, or or all the other stuff, I would say. Carrying. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty bad at impersonations. Yeah. yeah. I think uniform, I can speak for both of us. Uniformly let's bad. Hear, let's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's, Keith, let's hear your, uh, what are you going to do for us? Um, <clears throat> I think my best is my Nero. It's the cleanest. Mm. It's the cleanest. Cleanest. Uh, let's, let's hear it. Okay, hold on. 
I'll take the pasta, some more pasta around uh, <laughs> to this. I'm, I'm just. I'm just <laughs> I'm not done. Yeah, I'm not sorry. Sorry. I'm still sorry. part of it. We yeah. cut it yeah. off. I'm yeah. sorry. Um, <clears throat> because I was expecting a, di a d d pipe and dish, a uh, pasta. That's dead, I, dead right. on Bobby. Dead is definitely the right does word. Does that ever happen in a movie? Yes. <laughs> that's most of Raging Bull. Yes, yeah, that oh, was right. there, the first oh. When he's right. fighting, that's what he said. Oh. So I don't even want to know who you are who you're going to do. Okay, I think we're yeah, let us, let's just, see if we can we're gonna, guess. We're going to try to guess your... Uh, okay. I mean, if it's anything... I think De Niro just left the building. That was so smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the veil is busy. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. Here we go. There we go. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 Shaquille O'Neal. No. Michael Keaton's Batman. No. No. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's a woman. Oh, a woman. Right. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh, Meryl Streep. No. Glenn Close. 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 Julia Ormond. Right first name. Julia Roberts. Julia Stiles. <laughs> that was, oh, Julia. Julia. That was <laughs> dead on. That was great. Yeah, we get it one now, more time? Now that I yeah, can, now that we know. <laughs> can we see what it is? Okay. <laughs> well, that was my lap. That was my okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mystic Pizza. <laughs> right. So you want to hit us across the jaw with another worst gig ever story? I do. Um, <laughs> this happened in Switzerland a couple of years ago. Or at least it started in Switzerland. It wouldn't end for about 24 hours. Uh, and it ended in Germany, um, Munich. Uh, so this was the Open Air Gample Festival. I think it was 2008. I might I might be misremembering the year. Not important. Same same thing every Possibly year. Possibly 2009. There. Yeah. Sort of a rural, you know, very beautiful sound of music -y, sort of middle of a mountain valley in the middle of Switzerland. Um, and the gig actually went fine. But after the gig, um, I pulled a real Keith Murray, but not in the bus. <laughs> um, and was, you know, out until the wee hours of the morning. I thought it was actually late. It was actually the bigger hours of the morning. It was around 8.30 when I came back to the bus, which had left at 7.30. <laughs> um, and, you know, made its way to, to Munich. I think it was probably, I think it wasn't until noonish that somebody discovered I wasn't on the bus, but I wasn't there for that. That's, <laughs> I later, I later discovered. Um, so, so what I had to do was kind of sit there on this um, festival site, which was completely abandoned until about 10 a.m., I was I was obliterated and feeling awful by this point. <laughs> 10 a.m. or so, the the promoter finally rolls in. There's another day of the festival, luckily. And um, while I was out um, partying that night, the only thing I brought with me was my bus key. So I had well when the bus is I playing. had a bus key. Uh -huh. I had no ID. I had no phone. I had Nothing. no wallet. Yeah. Um, and I basically had to make my way. I, I borrowed 200 uh, Swiss francs from the, from the guy, the promoter. Did the promoter recognize you? Did you yeah. have to convince him you were in He did, rec scientist? He did recognize did me. Did it take yeah. a long time to get the money from, or was he pretty quick on being like, you he know what? It was cool to get, I mean, they had you know, paid us substantially more sure. to play the show the day before, so I think he was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Chris, here's your paycheck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do a great Swiss. That's that, was, that was your hidden talent. That was great. weirdly. Uh, it gave me chills because of what a tough time it was in my life. <laughs> um, anyway, I got I got somebody to drive. He he got a runner to drive me to the local train station where I was um, fortunately able to buy a train ticket to Geneva, and then from there I was lucky enough to be able to buy a train ticket to Munich. You don't need ID apparently to travel around Europe these days, um, and. Since it was so last minute, I, I bought. I had to buy like the cheapest ticket I could, and, uh -huh. and the train was absolutely packed. So um, the the real agony of the uh, of the event was sitting sort of on the floor in the train, like next to the bathroom, on on an eight hour journey to Munich. Um, Did you make the show? The show we luck, luckily we had a travel day. Ah. So while these guys were having a day off, going to Hard Rock Cafe. Oh no, Hall, Planet Hollywood. What was the Hard Rock you know how you <laughs> could have gotten there faster. Limp. Yeah, 
I'm surprised no you didn't tickets. consider that. That's Indiana Jones and Last Crusade? Oh, no tickets. They don't need tickets on the blimp. Apparently. Deep cut reference. That's true. Although, doesn't that oh, guy I get guess thrown yeah, off the blimp? He found because out. He he found out. What were you guys doing when you realized that he wasn't there? Uh, I was asleep on the bus, and okay. our tour manager, um, you know, maybe not the most effective guy, obviously, <laughs> woke me up just not even to ask if I knew where Chris was, just said, Chris isn't here. <laughs> What and there's no about? way. It's just hoping against hope that you guys will meet up. Well, I knew where the next. hotel was, um, I, and so I, I you How know, did you got know? on the computer. Well, I was able to get onto my email account at the promoter in the promoter's office, so Were you I can see our schedule and everything. <laughs> I think I was probably on Gmail by then. Yeah, can you just give was, an update on your technology? It was point? 2008. I would have been. I would have been. Gmailing, yeah. Although yeah, probably time. brand new, probably didn't know my way around sure. it very well, so it, I'm sure it took some Using time. Using the to standard <laughs> template you want to customize. <laughs> yeah, classic. <laughs> yeah, um, that adds believability, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So I did know where I was going, but I, but I, but I had to kind of like when I got to Munich uh, to the train station, I found a map, you know, and I kind of looked at where I was and tried to figure out how to walk to where I was going. Savvy traveler. There we go. Now, when you got there, was Survivor. Keith uh, drinking sea breezes? Um, <laughs> Tom Clancy was like, not so. in the day. <laughs> not him but yeah, he was, he was sort of sitting on the stoop outside the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? So to come full circle here, guys, a question that we ask all of our guests on the show. What do you two think of the word gig? Rhymes with pig. Same, same front, same front way and back ways. Automatia. Um, it's, it's the wrong word. I don't know if it's. it's it is kind word. of automatia, <laughs> depending on the word. band. Yeah. Depending on the band. Uh, what is it? To, a, a word. Is it a palindrome? Palindrome. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a palindrome. I don't want to say anything. But you can't think it's a palindrome because it is. What do you think of it? I think it's great. I like the fact that if you put, if you change the I for different vowels, it becomes other cool words, or if you change the G's for different, uh, for like D's, then it becomes, you know, other words. Right. Well, it becomes one other word. Right. So it's like, yeah, we got a, we got a couple gags coming up. Yeah. Yeah. A couple Gugs. dids. Uh, we're going to Europe for some dids. Check out her gugs. <laughs> or something. Right. I don't know it. <laughs> Wait, gugs? Just, just. <laughs> That's just a different word uh, oh. completely. Yeah. For tits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Is that where we're getting at? I don't at know. all. I... Uh, now we come to a segment called Do Your Best With Our Worst. Uh, since we got you guys here, you want to go play some music? Sure. Yeah, we're not okay. Right. okay. Performing Jack and Ginger from their worst album, Barbara, here's We Are Scientists. One, two, three. It's about that time I probably ought to go. Both are numbers. 
Clothes on with napkins Drenched in coke and gin We're soaking in On the floor and in the Thanks to all the Jack and Ginger Every poor has been Encouraging Well, listen, Keith and Chris, you guys have been absolutely the worst guests that we've had. And we want to present you mm -hmm. with a worst guest statuette, oh. courtesy of the Worst Gig Ever crew. Oh, that's mm. very nice. Yeah. What is that, a little statuette? That's a little statuette. <laughs> it's a kind of statuette. That's great. You want to take a closer look? It looks like a hot dog. It's got little grill marks and everything. Yeah, it's just for you guys. It's, it's worst. Keith Murray, Chris Kane, a lot of stuff going on, you guys. Exciting people. You have plenty of bad gigs before, hopefully a lot of bad gigs to come. And we just have three words for you here. Get home safe. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> do you mean it sarcastically? We're all no. wondering oh. why. But. No. Bravado. Show business. He's just enjoying it. Welcome okay. to the biz. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. 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 Next week on Worst Gig Ever. So how long have you been a pillow? Well, I... As always, thank you guys for watching. You want more Worst Gigs? Click on us. Subscribe. Or if you want some audio versions, check out our podcast and subscribe. Thank you.